here we are and the first few steps is going to explain to you how to create your own keys and then how to navigate the IAM dashboard to the KMS section and one most important thing that quite often people forget is that if you create a custom key let us say in US Virginia region you can use that key in that region alone you cannot use it in Mumbai or Singapore so you will have to import it specifically for each and every region and you can use a common alias so that you can easily identify the key name and encrypt your objects with that key so first thing is to create your own key for people who don't have a key for people who have a key just ignore this step so it says generate a secret key so that's what we are going to do and we are going to use OpenSSL to generate our key and remember I'm going to use a simple 256 symmetric key but if you are in production, you might want to create a more secure key with 2048 bits or you might use an hardware based device to generate your keys. So this is the command to generate your key and it is going to store it in a file which is called as plain text AES key. So let us go ahead and copy this and put it into a Linux machine. So I have my local on premise Linux machine and I'm going to put this key here and then my key has been created. So this is my key that I'm going to send it to Amazon and we are going to encrypt objects with this key. So Amazon has made sure that if you're sending it in the same way, there is possibility that somebody might snoop our network and get hold of this key. So it is not so easy to upload this key. Amazon will give you another key on which you will encrypt it and then we will send it. So let us go ahead and see how to do that. So that is the next step here. We need to go to the Amazon KMS GUI. So if you go to IAM dashboard on the left hand side, you will find encryption keys. So if you click on that, it will bring you to the same window and you want to choose the region, whichever uh, where you are going to store your data. So let us say we are going to store our, all our data in US East Virginia. So make sure that you have selected that region. And then if you have keys already there, it is going to list it. And if you want to filter by your keys, let us say I want to filter by my keys and I'm going to type in there. There's no key as of now. So let me go ahead and create a key there. And it is going to asking me what is the key name alias that I want to give it. So I'm going to call it my key and then I'm going to give the same description. And let us go ahead and open the advanced sections here. I want the key material to be external so that I can upload my key here. And Amazon gives me a quick warning saying you are responsible for all the aspects of security availability and all those things. Yes, we understand that. Go ahead and click next. So here I'm going to add saying this is my key and add a tag as owner and I'm going to call it as mystique. That is the owner of this account and go ahead and click on next step. So here it's asking me who has permissions to administer this key. So I'm going to say my trainer admin is going to administer this key and then allow administrators to delete this key. Yes, I want to leave it as it is and who can access this key. I'm once again, I'm going to say trainer admin is the person who is going to use this key for encrypting objects. So I'm giving permission for that user. If you want to give permissions to any other user, go ahead and choose that user as well here. So go ahead and click next. And this is the key policy in case if you want to update it in a programmatic way, this is how it should look like. So go ahead and click finish. So now Amazon gives its own key on how to import that key. So make a note of this identifier that comes here at the top. And then we also need to download the wrapping key. That is the key that they provide to encrypt our key. So I'm going to make sure that I am choosing the one that is recommended in the article. So if you go to the article, it says that I want to choose this option RSAES OAEP. So I'm just going to make sure that I'm choosing that option and click on download wrapping key. So let us go ahead and do that now. So my download is completed. Let me go ahead and open the zip file now. I move the key to my Linux folder so that we can unzip it here and then we can use it for encryption as well of our keys. So let us go ahead and unzip our import parameters file. So we have unzipped it and let us go to our article and take the command which will use these files to encrypt our plain text key. So here in the article you can see here wrap the secret key that we created 
with the wrapping key that was given by Amazon and the command to do that is here. Let me just copy paste it and you see here there are two things that I need to change. This is one wrapping key ID and also that if you have created the, uh, your own key or the secret key in a different name, make sure that you change this value as well. So in my case, I'm just going to make the change for the wrapping key alone. So the command will look something like this now. So once you press enter, it will create an output file, which is called as a encrypted AES key. If I do LSI-L, we will be able to find this new file now. So this is the file that we are going to upload to Amazon now. And from this file, Amazon will be able to pick up our plain text AEX key. So once you have encrypted your secret key with Amazon's wrapping key, you can come back to the KMS dashboard and you can see the instructions here. It, and there's a checkbox. It says, I am ready for upload of my exported key material. Go ahead and check that and then click on next and it is going to ask you the file location so let us go ahead and choose those files wherever you have stored so i have chosen those files that is the enclosed or encrypted aes key file and the import token if you remember we downloaded a zip file called as import parameters that zip file also includes the import token as well so in case if you want you expire the key after a certain date, you can go ahead and choose the date given here. Or if you don't want your key to auto expire, then choose this option which says key material does not expire automatically. Then go ahead and click on finish. So you can see here once it is successfully imported, your key material was successfully imported and you will be able to find it in the list of keys. So if you navigate to a service like S3 and try to upload an object, you should be able to use this key for your encryption. So let us go ahead and do that as well. So I am in my S3 bucket now, which I have set up for this purpose, which is called as encryption demo bucket. And let me go ahead and upload an object now. So here I have selected a small file called as cloud small and then click on open and then click on next. I don't want to change the permissions. Click on next. And here is the important bit where I'm going to choose AWS KMS master key. And then you will have a drop down here and you will find the new key that we have created. That is, we call it as my key. So go ahead and select that and click on next and upload. And if the file is small, we should be able to see the upload happening quickly. So my upload is successful and it should refresh my screen. Let me go ahead and open that. And you can see here the file has been encrypted with server side encryption and you also have the KMS key ID also. So if you want to really want to be sure that this is the same key that we just now created, I'm going to copy the key ID and go back to my KMS dashboard and search for this key now. And there you find it. It identifies the new key that we created with this key ID and then it highlights it. So that is how you import your custom keys from your on-premise infrastructure to AWS and start encrypting objects with your custom keys. If you have any difficulty in doing it, put them in the comment section. I would be happy to help them with you. Thanks for watching. Happy learning. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel.